So Mr. Hunter, what can you tell us about how lead clay plays a part in earthquakes? Well, lead clay uh, has a tendency to amplify the shaking uh, if the clay is reasonably thick. And as you may not be aware, 65% of the city of Ottawa is underlain by lead clay, as shown by this uh, uh, seismic hazard map that the university and the government together have made. Um, the red and the orange are uh, areas of, uh, of thick lead of clay. Okay, so just given the fact that Ottawa is an earthquake prone area, how often do earthquakes actually hit in Ottawa? Well, um, we generally record uh, at least one earthquake per week within 200 kilometers of Ottawa. Most of them come from the western Quebec area. And what about the magnitude? comes with these earthquakes? Well, most of them are, are very small, um, but uh, once a month at least, we have a magnitude uh, greater than about 2 or 2.5. And very rarely, but which occurred last May, we have uh, uh, them as high as, uh, as 5. So what if an earthquake with that high magnitude struck an area with Lida clay? Um, what about the damages? Well, the um, the damage was slight on the last two uh, magnitude five uh, earthquakes that we, we had in the last uh, since uh, 2010. Um, however, the design earthquake is a magnitude 6.1 roughly, depends where it, where it does occur. And uh, there could be damage, but fortunately, um, we have a very good national building code, uh, which uh, provides for uh, 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 strengthening buildings uh, in earthquake zones. Okay, so should people living in Ottawa be worried? I think that people in Ottawa should be aware that we are in a seismic hazard zone and um, be, take uh, the advice of uh, emergency preparedness people uh, at the city and uh, uh, at the provincial level or, or even also on the federal level. Okay. And there is lots of information available on how to conduct yourself and be ready for um, a, a substantial earthquake. Okay, well thank you for your answers, Mr. Hunter. You're welcome.